Hey everybody, welcome to DBS Films Podcast. My name is Kellen, with me as always is my brother Brendan. Together we make movies with a DBS Films. Today's episode we're talking about part two of why we are embracing our community studio model. More importantly in this episode, we kind of want to take a look, you know, a few years out of what this community can possibly become. Again, be sure to take a look at our first episode because we highlight why we use our community and why it's one of the best things to ever, it is the best thing to ever happen to us, frankly. And and with that being said, you can go ahead and take a look at this community by joining our Discord channel online. So, you know, I really kind of want to have a quick recap of, la- or of the earlier episode and just why it's the, the most important thing. We stress this a lot to other filmmakers. You got to build your community. You know, ours is in closing on 17,000. I'm sure actually by the time that this episode airs, which is next week, we're going to have this at 17,000, if not more than that. So we are growing at a rapid rate. But really the big thing is it's really hard to get eyeballs on your movies now, especially on the indie level. And if you have a passionate community that you can also utilize when it comes to making these movies, you have this long-term growth. So do you want to kind of talk about, I think the first place to start is I feel like our movies are now lagging behind our community which is crazy because our movies were way ahead of our community for multiple multiple reasons and within less than a year our community has incredibly outpaced it and is on a rocket ship climb of growth and i think the main reason for it is it takes a while to you for you to actually recoup your revenue you know one thing we talk about is there's a huge delay from when you first start making a movie and like release the movie to when you start recouping it. So that's basically the revenue source we use to grow our movies and productions. And in the time of, you know, essentially murder house being completed in December to being released in July, we're now looking at a 10, 15, 20, you know, hundred X from when we first started our community. And now it's really going to be a game of just catching up the movie success to the community. Yeah. And I think uh, that's what we're trying to do this year. I think, um, we're finally getting, you know, steady revenue coming in. Um, you've heard me talk about it before. I take all that money. I put it back in either the community or making more movies. Um, we made two movies last year. And our goal is to make four movies, five movies this year. So we're going to try and double our output. Making one movie in a year is considered by indie standards very, very successful. Most indie filmmakers will make one movie every three years. So we're trying to condense time, fri- time frames, and we're really going to try and put one decade, 10 years of work into one year. How it's going to turn out? I don't know. You got to stay tuned. But uh, this is the goal. This is what we're trying to do. We are trying to catch up to the community. Now, here's the cool thing. Are we ever going to catch up to the community? I don't know. Because if we're doubling our output... But with each movie, we get more viewers, we get more actors, we get more talented people, we get more outreach. In theory, you know, the community should grow exponentially with each movie that we we release. That's a good problem to have. I will love to have a bigger community. I'd love to have more eyeballs on our movies because that allows us to grow faster, kind of hit that tipping point. And then we're taking all this money to grow the community and just do some really, really cool stuff. We have a lot of stuff planned, but right now it's just like, all right, can we get these movies out on a consistent basis? By consistent consistent basis, I mean, you know, four or five movies each year using 50 members of the Discord in our movies. And that, I think, is a solid ground to grow. And at that point, we just figure out how we scale in different ways. Exactly that. And I mean, you know, really the first test of this is going to be the launch of the force of death. You know, we had the most successful launch with the haunting of the murder house and we do contribute that to the discord, but that was during auditions. That was during Kickstarter. We were kind of going 12 different ways at once where now we are going to, you know, film our next movie. So by the time you're actually listening to this, we should be, you know, pretty well through the Roger file. So we got another one ready to go in the sense of getting it out there quickly but we now have full capabilities to focus in on this launch of the forests of death most likely it's going to happen when we plan our annual like retreat uh, snowboard trip so we'll probably be like on the mountains as i'm hyping up the discord knowing how things land but still we have an entire community ready for this launch to really show this is support because again the bigger we grow the more success we have the more opportunities we can go ahead and pass along and that's exactly what i wanted to talk about this episode first we'll talk about all of the opportunities we want to provide within the film side of things but then i want to start talking about some of the the bigger ideas because you know as our discord community has grown 
DBS Films is becoming much more than just a film studio. You know, the community that we have, the potential just can really go all over the place for the creative outlooks we have. But for now, let's go ahead and focus in on the film side of things. So as you know, we do look to cast acting from our Discord channel. We're always going to look at casting acting. But I think there's two things I want to kind of talk about for the acting side of things. One we're going to look at having much more roles for it, which is obviously going to happen with scale up. But two, I see us having multiple production teams and I see us, you know, really potentially becoming our own distributor. I see us potentially being able to have our own film fest. I see us being able to do a lot of things to where we can bring other filmmakers under our umbrella and have multiple production teams. So right now we're looking for actors, but again, we have screenwriting challenges for a purpose. We have special effects and makeup for a purpose. We have all of these different challenges that we're doing as a way to start putting feelers out there for cultivating because eventually if we want to you know scale past us making four movies scale past us making eight movies you know i can see us making 20 movies if we have multiple production teams so you want to talk about how you know again this community allows us to quickly scale up these different production teams you know we've always talked about it'd be cool for us to have a giant warehouse in atlanta that we can then you know basically have all of these costs spread a- across all of these different movies. But at that point, it would be having multiple production teams, cinematographers, DPs, grips, screenwriters, marketing, all of these different elements as DBS scales. And guess where we're going to hire from our discord. Yeah, I definitely think that's the the longer term goal. I mean, we're already taking a stab at becoming our own distribution company with the launch of Forest Death, all the deals brokered um, were through ourselves. Um, we are not using a distribution company. Um, we're using, uh, we pass quality control by ourselves. There's no hand holding here. It's just kind of being thrown into the gauntlet um, and we're going to see what happens. But that's the first step. And I do think that you know, even if if we get to the four or five movie mark, I don't think I think that's pretty much tapping it out as far as like what I can do on my end. Um, at that point, we would have to look to scale up, bring on other production teams. I think twelve movies a year is very possible with two production teams, uh, maybe two and a half. Um, but that's just more people in these movies. The movies are going to scale up, but if we can release one movie a month, I think that's a really solid goal where you're having consistent content that's not competing against the other movies. Um, so I think that's where you want to go as a good foundation. I think we can get there pretty quickly. Um, but then again, at some point we are going to have to become our own streaming platform, Um, I am tired of having to negotiate with these platforms and your visibility is determined by other people. I think to really get where we need to go, we need to figure out how to start our own platform because then we're going to need a lot of content. We're going to need more production. We're going to need more actors. We're going to need more screenwriters. We can essentially create our own little horror version of Netflix. Um, And that's just what we kind of want to do. So how we get there is probably a few years off, but, you know, with how quickly we're going, you know, never say never. But I think that's the ultimate goal is to create a DBS sort of streaming platform that's AVOD based. So it's ad based. It's completely free to everybody. And that the community can, you know, cultivate, build and bring new people in. And then we can pull from the community to put in our movies, to put in our productions. And then I think at that point, we'll be very synergistic. And I think that is the true goal because then at that point, no distribution company is telling us no. So if we don't have to rely on a distribution company, if we don't need to rely on a streaming platform, we essentially control our own destiny. And as a business, that is what we want to do. We don't want to have to deal with other people. We want to be able to just figure out what we want to do, how we want to do it. And then there's nobody else telling us no. This will allow us to take more risks, to bring on more people, um, and just be more creative. I think one of the biggest problems right now in Hollywood is the only movies that are original that are getting made are, um, well, there are no original movies. I'm just saying that movies that are getting made are superhero reboots or, you know, remakes, um, stuff that is guaranteed to make money. And that's all fine and well, but I think you're kind of losing that creative edge. And I think that with our business model and what we're trying to do, we can start to take a little bit more risk and we can start to make some really cool, unique ideas and kind of 
flush out some of the old Hollywood thinking into some new creative stuff that's kind of pushing the boundaries of what a filmmaker can actually achieve. Yeah, I think that really is the case because like basically what ends up happening is when you do control your own destiny like this, when you do have the ability to grow and scale, not only does it provide opportunities for us, but it allows us to green light projects for our, our you know community much quicker. So really, to me, the biggest thing is there's a lot of scalability, especially on the film stuff. With that being said, I'm actually going to go ahead and park that for the rest of the episode. So, you know, it is DBS Films, but there's a lot more stuff with the community that I really kind of wanted to, you know, look into. And I think the first one to me is really the element that even if you don't want to be part of the films, you know, if you don't want to be on camera, you don't want to help out, you don't want to make the movies or whatnot, we're going to have a place for you to enjoy in our success. And I think that model of rewarding your community, regardless of if they want to be in a film or not, if they just want to basically be part of the process, if they just want to basically, you know, enjoy what we're doing and support us, you will be rewarded. And these are going to come in things like super fan events that we're already talking about with like going to Las Vegas and having our premieres. But we really want to merge the idea and the concept of our community to be much more than just something that is, again, a fan club for DBS. We want to have in-person events. We want to reward people in the success that we have by basically providing them with really, really fun things. And I mean, this is why we're tracking super fans, the different levels, Carl's Club and all of that stuff, because it's a way for us to track the support that you're giving us. And we always want to basically take this element of you know our community and reward it just for being part of it, just for supporting us, just for doing these things. And it's always going to be something that's going to be top of our mind. So do you want to talk about how, you know, with DBS is focused, you don't even need to want to be part of the production team in any way. And you're still going to be rewarded with our success because we stand by the fact that we're making movies for you and you're part of our success. Oh, for sure. I definitely think that anyone who is part of this um, will be rewarded. You know, whether you're an actor and you want to be in a movie, that's a reward. But it's also you doing a very good job and, you know, um, putting in the effort to become a very good actor. But anyone else who just helps us out, um, whether or not you want to be behind the camera or in front of the camera, um, we're going to reward you. Whether that's events, um, whether that's just, you know, we're going to do a whole bunch of raffles, giveaways. Um, we'll find a way to, you know, make it worth your time to just help us develop and grow. I do think that, you know, I really want to invest in the community in-person meetups because I think that, you know, everything's great behind a computer screen, but I think how you really build relationships is in person, you know, having all the discord members finally meet up um, is really cool. We've done it a few times. We did a small little gathering at cocktails and screams, which is a local bar here in Orlando. Had a great time doing that. We did the Halloween horror nights events. Um, but I think if we can really get a ton of people out there to meet in person, I think that that's just going to really solidify not only the bond to DBS, but the bond to others. So I think that that would be my first goal is to, you know, as we scale up the movies to either do red carpet events, to do premieres in Vegas, um, to do cruises. I'd love to do like a writer's retreat. So we do active like challenges in person um, would be really cool. Maybe like a little DBS 24 hour film festival where we get a whole bunch of people from the discord pair of writers up with people who want to do cinematography with actors. So we can kind of break out into groups and you know, watch everyone kind of get better and make their own little shorts. I think that'd be a really cool event. So there's a lot of ideas out there. Um, like I said, right now, the funding is just like all the money's going back to the movies um, just to get our feet um, or the ground under our feet. But once it starts to scale um, and we have extra revenue, these this is the first place I'm going to do is just really try and get people to meet up in person. And I'd love to have a traveling a traveling uh, DBS theater release in cities that are populated by the DBS army. I think that'd be a really cool way to do it. Where you come in, you get free drinks, you get free food, you get to watch our movie, you get to interact with everyone in the community. I think it's just a great way to do that. Um, great, re great way to reward our super fans as well. So, you know, we have a plan. 
Um, we're just waiting to make sure that, you know, we are, we're getting the revenue that we need to, you know, make these things happen. But with how fast this community is growing, with how many movies we're making, we're trending well in the right direction. Exactly that. I mean, it is something where, again, there's going to be a lot of benefits coming from the process of being part of the community in the sense of just rewarding you for, <clears throat> for your support. And I think the people that are you know supporting us now, those are the ones that we need the support the most. So we're always going to remember to basically hook up the OGs and everyone supporting us now, because this is you know where we need it the most to thrive. Next thing I really want to talk about is the opportunities within the Discord, again, outside of just film. I think one of the coolest things to me is seeing all of these amazing events that we're doing. We have karaoke night. We have trivia nights. We have these events. We love playing Among Us, Dead by Daylight, all of these different things. And just the nature of online communities. I mean, you look at Facebook, they're basically spending billions of dollars to try and come up with some type of metaverse type environment where people want to hang out. And I think as VR kind of improves a lot too, and I think as our community has already proven itself to be a very wholesome and engaging community, you're going to see a very good synergy of this. I mean, I see things, for instance, VR karaoke night. VR plays where we have our members essentially be actors. We can create all of these amazing things within the community. And I see the community itself being this type of environment that, you know, whether it's through just engagement and support from their members, whether it's ways that we can, you know, potentially look at some sort of advertisement when it comes to, you know, maybe like the theater name in VR. There's just a lot of money out there that's kind of circulating to take a look at a type of community-based system where you'll basically have a lot of people interacting. And I think there's a way that we can use it to essentially build out and reward a lot of our community. I mean, eventually we're going to need paid admins for Discord. Eventually we're going to have streaming systems in the sense where it's not just our movie, but we have almost kind of like a Twitch version of it where we're streaming events and we're doing things like this. So I think there's a lot of elements here. I mean, if you take a look at TikTok, my biggest thing for them is... You know, they're very smart with how they're embracing their live system. Most of the stuff that they're showing you is different live because they want that engagement. And I think with the group that we have here, with the amount of people that we have, it's only going to be easier and easier for us to basically create and expand to this level. So I think there's a lot of opportunity out there outside of just the films for us to have very engaging events, very engaging things and very rewarding, not only just for you know being creative, but also monetarily. I mean, I see these challenges scaling up. I see all of these things scaling up so that you can really be involved in our community because again, this is just the beginning of it. So, you know, what are kind of your thoughts on just how we're going to continue to utilize different elements? I mean, again, DBS needs to, you know, I want to make video games one day. And that's going to be the same thing as the movies. We're going to cast for voice acting. We're going to cast developers. So I guess my whole point in this one is the community allows us to expand to so many things that we can't even begin to think of them now. Yeah, and I think it all starts with the community. Um, yes, DBS Films makes movies, but I always have viewed our our whole premise, this whole business, as just a company that tells stories. And with stories, there's different ways to, you know, communicate that medium. Um, the OG DBS is a publishing company, and we went from books, then we went to Audible. Now we make movies. I see no reason why we can't expand to video games, why we can't expand to short television series, um, why we can't um, expand to VR and other ways to you know do cool things and tell the story. Um, there's a lot of ways we can do this. And I think that I don't want to just be like, oh, we are a film company. We'll always be a film company. I think we're a story company. And as long as you have a community that enjoys the stories that you that you essentially tell, and as long as you're telling good stories, I think you're going to have an audience. And that's kind of how I view um, you know, our stuff. I'd love to have a movie that's a hit, that has a book, that has an Audible uh, series, that has a longer television series, 12 episodes, three or four seasons, that has a VR um component to it that has a video game and i think you're starting to see this i think that the how successful the last of us is doing um is going to start to spin off this model of 
with each movie, with each video game, there's just different ways to tell that story to find new audiences. Because people who like video games, you know, may not like books. Um, or there's people who like all of this medium, and then they get rewarded as well. So I think that that's where everything needs to go. If you have a story that resonates with people, that people like, um, I think it's only beneficial to give them as much information, as much ways to consume that story as possible. I completely agree. And I think that's the biggest thing with this is there's so many opportunities that can develop having a community like this, especially community that's growing this large. And, you know, we're always going to keep the community in mind for these opportunities. So as we scale up these ventures, it's going to provide for a lot more opportunities out there. And how quick is that going to happen? We have absolutely no clue. You know, it could happen really, really quickly. It could take a while. But what I do know is each day, every day we wake up, this is the top priority for us in the sense of growing and scaling this community, providing more opportunities. And like we said, again, the people that are really supporting us now, the people that are really, really helping us grow and thrive together, those are going to be the ones that are going to be rewarded because we need it now more than ever. And I think, you know, the snowball is already in motion. We're already scaling up. We're already growing big. And it's only going to be a matter of time. So again, appreciate everyone who is supporting supporting us now. Appreciate everyone who is going to continue to support us. Really means the world to us. We're excited to have a ton of new members. We're excited for a, another year of DBS. Four more movies is the goal. 50 plus members. And I know, again, every single time we make one, we're going to grow. And every single time we make another movie, we're going to have a lot more opportunities for you. So until then, have a good one.